Hi everyone and welcome to Support from Simone. Today I wanted to focus on um, some essential fatty acids, particularly our omega-3 and omega-6s. So these fatty acids are extremely important in our bodies um, and do various functions, help various functions within our body. Um, now the difference is that um, both of these are anti and do have anti-inflammatory properties, uh, the omega-3s in particular. And although the omega-6s also can be anti-inflammatory, too much of them can end up causing them to be pro-inflammatory. So they then start to increase inflammation in the body. So it's really important that we get them in the right ratio and not have too much omega-6 compared to omega-3s. Um, now the ratio that is ideal is four to one. So four omega-6 to one um, omega-3. Unfortunately, in our modern day Western diets, what we see is more of a ratio of around 10 to one, or between 10 to one and 50 to one actually. So um, that, and the reason for that is that omega-6s are often uh, found in a lot of the processed foods, your pre-packaged foods, takeaway foods. Um, and our main source of omega-6s are in like canola oil, sesame oil, um, sunflower oil and a lot of these are in these types of foods so because the modern day diet unfortunately for a lot of people is too much of these processed and takeaway foods we are seeing a bit of a trend of too much omega-6 as opposed to omega-3s now omega-3s are found in foods such as your fish uh, chia seeds hemp seeds um, Walnuts are really good. Um, what else? Flax seeds. So your fish and your various nuts and seeds are really good sources of omega-3s. And we're just not consuming enough of those. So it's really important that we be a bit conscious of how many, the good ratio that we have, we can have for these um, and really limiting those foods that are going to send um, that ratio out of balance and cause too much inflammation in the body. So. Adopting more of a Mediterranean diet is a great way to do it. Olive oil, um, like I said, fish, uh, nuts, seeds, increasing those in your diet and really limiting the amount of processed and takeaway foods that you are eating. Uh, keeping inflammation down in our bodies is so important. Um, Omega-3s are really critical for that and they're also critical for our cell membrane, keeping our cell membrane really good and healthy and our brain function. So um, yeah, really important to have these fatty acids in a good ratio and um, yeah, eat more fish, nuts and seeds. Keep those omega-3s nice and high. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again soon.